Hello YouTube and welcome to Market Watch. We're going to talk about the Digimon card game market as we enter the end times of BT12 regionals and moving right along to BT12 Ultimate Cup. So, some stuff to talk about, you know, lots of cards. Got some good ones for you, some good deals, some good things to avoid, all that fun stuff. If you guys like this content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on the notifications, potatoes. Can't talk anymore. That way you know when all these videos go live. Also, fun thing happening tonight on my Twitch. I've officially been a Twitch streamer for two years. I am doing a two-year celebration free tournament slash celebration stream on my Twitch tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern. That's when I go live. The tournament starts at 9.30. If you guys want to join me and congratulate me on being a successful Digimon content creator, you can go ahead and do that there. I'd appreciate it. Anyway, now that that's all out of the way and the plugs are over, let's talk about the market. The online market has not really changed all that much, and that's all I'm going to say about that. So we'll move on to Galamon Crimson Mode Ultimate Cup. One of these actually sold on TCG Player for $3,600 US. This is low. Considering what the top price for Ultimate Cups have sold for in the past, this is really low. And TCG Player even usually is higher. So, I'd be curious to see where the pricing history for this card falls when everything's said and done. But if it's going for 3600 right now, who knows how low it'll be by the time the rest of the Ultimate Cups are over? That's actually a really interesting thought. Um, Alright. BT-14 and BT-13 booster boxes are already on pre-sale. They're already on pre-sale. Hey, hello. Um, do not buy the pre-sales. All right, good. Glad we established that. Uh, double, double diamond boxes, though, are 110 20 with shipping. Isn't that crazy? Want to know why? Because of Ghost Omnimon. That's why. If you actually look at the double diamond set... You have to get lucky and pull this or an Altar Beale Star or at the 120 a price point box, you're getting hosed really hard. So my recommendation here is very um, simple. Do not buy this box for this price unless you plan on investing in it. If you want to buy to crack the packs, you don't do it. Otherwise, that's fine. Death X Altar is $69, which is nice, but going down in price. Uh, with Ultimate Cup format coming out and this card banned and not legal, expect it to keep falling. Um, Agumon X continues to be expensive and continues to explode, and not as a lot of listings just supporting this price point. Uh, it's one of those expensive altarts, and it will be that way for a while. It just will be. Uh, Venus Mon at 30 bucks. I think this is a good price. Uh, it's 30, and then it goes to 33 and a half, then it goes to 34, and then there's some listings. You know what I mean? Uh, this card could be expensive again eventually. The card's incredibly powerful. Uh, so I see no reason not to pretend it won't be. There you go. Examon, 25 bucks. This will go down when the Ultimate Cup format happens, as this card is unplayable, this deck is unplayable, in a monocolored format. So, again, expect it to go down in price. Ancient Greymon Alternate Art, finally down in price at the $20 mark. Even regular one is down to under $15 now. So it looks like the prices have finally decreased on the Ancients. And that's it. That's all you have to know. Um, red Hybrid cards aren't really that expensive, unless you're playing the Max Rarity ones. In that case, then yeah, they are expensive. But yeah, um, cheap-ish deck. Tier 1. Still playable in Ultimate Cup format? Maybe not a bad grab. Um, Alternate Art Greymon from EX1. Friendly reminder, this card is actually still expensive. And we'll probably continue to see play. Especially with more experimentation coming up in the Ultimate Cup format. Definitely a possibility. What's interesting, what's really interesting, I don't know if you guys have noticed this. This card when attacking Inheritable... Play a Tai Kamiya from your play cost of three or less from your hand. I'll pay the memory cost. You cannot play this card in Black Tie in the same deck once Ultimate Cup format hits. Very interesting, huh? Seems like a bit of a quirk. So yeah, keep that in mind as we uh, go forward. Uh, Dimeramon, the winner pack, is lower than it has been. 
fifteen dollars is not bad for this card, and I'd probably grab it if you can, or maybe on Facebook, maybe grab them for a little bit cheaper if you can. This is a good price for this Max Verity card. No reason not to, in my opinion. Uh, then pack four cards. Lotmon, way too expensive. No reason. Absolutely no reason to spend fourteen dollars on a Lotmon, an unplayable card, almost unplayable card, near unplayable card. There's just no reason to do it. You wait for the pack four to finish being distributed. We have Rise Greymon pre-release stamp, twenty-one dollars. Remember when this card used to be cheaper? Fun fact: it was selling for a lot more just a little bit recently. But it was a lot cheaper. I'm telling you guys, twenty dollars will be a good deal. It will be very expensive very soon. From Master Disciple Judge Pack 3. This card I did not know existed in the sense that I didn't know the Judge Pack stamp. Um, this is the Max Ready version of this card, which is a Royal Knight staple question mark? It's a very interesting card because it adds Royal Knight to your hand or a sister one. Uh, definitely a Justmon staple. And with BT13 coming, this card might go down in price because there are some events still where Judge Packs were distributed prior to BT13. Because there's still EX4 to go through as well, don't forget. I do see this card potentially being expensive. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Um, but Justmon is very hyped and anticipated for BT13. So maybe it's worth your time. Maybe monitor this card during the Ultimate Cup format and even EX4. Wait to see what happens. The BT13 reveals start just before that. You might want to consider grabbing the card. Uh, Hina. This card, remember this card was like 10 bucks and under? Well, it's creeping up. And I gotta be honest, I don't know why. I don't know. Um, I think it's going through a hype phase for some reason. However, this card is unplayable during Ultimate Cup format. In my opinion, it should go down in price. So I, if you want this card, I'd probably wait a little bit before you grab it. Uh, Davis has cooled off from uh, the last Market Watch where it was expensive. Over 10 bucks. Now you can grab it for a reasonable price if you want it, and it's not terrible. You, you do it now, and you'll probably be okay with it. Last card today is a Wrestler Drawn Superior Mode at $7. This is the cheapest you'll be able to buy this card if you want it before Regionals, but if you're not going to play it at Regionals, do not buy this card, as while Purple Hunters is cooking with uh, you and all that stuff, um, for Ultimate Cup format, that's all it's got. And I don't think it's very good. So I'd probably not even bother with it, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, did I miss anything important? I don't think I did, but you guys let me know what you think, and I'll see you later. Bye!